I'll let you go first because you're going to bet the best team in hockey history, perhaps, as an underdog. Yeah, as of right now, the Devils look like one of the best teams in history. We know it's not going to play out that way, but we're getting plus 140 to back them against an Edmonton side, which is still offering some flaws. They made us look bad the other night versus a Predators team that that just look horrible. But I think versus this Devils team, it could be a completely different story. The Devils have controlled play to the best rate in the league at this point. They're getting strong form throughout the lineup. We saw the fourth line dominate again. Third line looks great. Superstars are playing good. And the defensive core looks awesome. So I think if we can see this matchup, BB Tech, Vanacek versus Jack Campbell, that's ideal. And I would really be loving a plus, uh, price of plus 140 at that point. But with that said, even if it's Skinner versus Blackwood, it's still a great number. And I think we're going to see the Devils actually get the better of the play overall in this game. And assuming we don't see some, you know, five point nights from McDavid and Dreisaitl, I like our chances a lot with them as an underdog. Yeah, I'll be with you on the Devils. Uh, I said the last episode, I'll be looking for spots to fade them because I think that they're going to be priced out of range. Uh, But the Oilers are also overrated. So this is actually a good spot uh, to back them. And I think normally you want to back the Devils, or I do, when their goaltending disadvantage is going to be amplified. That won't be the case here. Both goaltending situations are a little suspect at best. Uh, The Seattle Kraken will be my underdog. They're plus uh, 160 right now, traveling to uh, take on the Minnesota Wild, who they beat the Canadians. I I took the Wild on with the Canadians at plus 205. Thought the Habs had every chance to be ahead in that game with a good first period. And when when you're an underdog at that price and you don't take those opportunities, you're likely going to lose. Uh, but I think this is a flawed team going against a surging one. The Kraken goaltending situation, not ideal. Joey Decord started the other night, but uh, Marc-Andre Fleury has, you know, he's not been able to save his way out of a paper bag yet. So I'm going to continue to fade this wild team. And, and I like getting this price on a Kraken team that I think is going to continue to pay off because uh, they're just, they're playing much better than these odds imply. Yeah. The Kraken are playing way better than these odds imply. And it's not, Actually, that's surprising when you look at the roster. We've touched on it. They don't have the high-end talents, but they're deep. They're really deep. And they're getting, you know, some elite performances from guys like Bjorkstrand, who's, if you look at his underlying numbers, he's been amazing. So I think, yeah, you touched on all the points. The gameplay is going to be closer than this number suggests. And yeah, it's a great underdog. 